I thought of my many fans because I just made a bicycle video earlier. It was too hot while cutting grass. I still got grass to cut and move the trucks. To show you, Billy Joe, for a guy that doesn't spray paint every day, she didn't turn out bad at all. I got a lot of compliments, especially from my family, which, you know, mom and dad always love you, but uh, no, I, I, my dad's a critical asshole and I don't normally get uh, compliments. And my mom, they're so critical. Especially since this paint was just got base coated and never uh, clear coated. I thought today would be the perfect opportunity uh, while I'm suffering from mass weed inhalation and I don't mean the kind you smoke and I think I have lawn tractor poisoning. It's that hot and uh, the, the grass, I really got to blow everything off. I'm going to actually use the, uh, the other tool I have to uh, work on things. Here we are. A lot of people don't know what these knobs are on the guns. All of them have them. This one's your pattern. You can open the pattern up. And as I said, these nozzles that I just dropped in the dirt, which got to get re uh, done, I scrub them with a toothbrush in MEK. That's right behind me. Because this is what makes your pattern is this nozzle and if it's all clogged or the tips all clogged in here you're screwed most of you guys like me I didn't paint professionally I worked at a body shop yeah but I never painted the cars the boss always painted the cars so I'll put this up I think you guys will be able to see me uh, I gotta watch what I do with that tripod it's more sensitive than my ex-wife uh, during lawn tractor poisoning season like I have it's not quite uh, uh, just out of breath that's your pattern. This is your paint flow. This will allow paint through the nozzle because now we're going to cover another subject. This is your air flow. And these two will determine how the paint, whether it's going to sag on you and how it comes out of the gun. So you guys that are going to self-teach yourself about these guns, because most of them have three to four of these knobs and they all do the same thing. Some of them have a dual uh, pattern action which means you can adjust when you're turning this this will be a sweep when you turn this up up and down okay it'll blow the paint wide when you turn it like this okay it'll blow it up and down okay so you have a horizontal and a vertical and then you can twist it especially if you're gonna if you have to stoop at an angle or you have a bad body part you can actually make the gun work to your advantage by adjusting this but just keep this tip okay at, at, a, at a maximum distance you're gonna to have to learn what the distance is if you're gonna self teach yourself it's not an easy trade at all when you're self taught this is why I'm gonna go a little more in depth like with the MEK this is your cleaner and you can clean your gun out with it but don't paint or put paint in the gun after this has been in it you gotta wash it out with the reducer that you're gonna use for your paint now the other subject is Spraying paints in your backyard, depending on where you live, can be a nasty business. But I use mostly eco-friendly. Uh, you can buy it anywhere. But spraying is becoming more popular because it's less time-consuming. Once you get the hang of it, you're going to laugh how easy it is. You could teach monkeys to do it. But this stuff, okay, it, it, it's sold in stores. It's just like Rust-Oleum. And they have a clear coat. It's eco-friendly. A lot of the stuff I buy is just better grade. I buy the Deltrons and the shop lines and they're eco-friendly paint and it says it right on them okay so really the only smell you're gonna generate while you're painting is probably the paint itself which is not uh, real overpowering stuff but this is a heavy paint so then you gotta learn to adjust your gun for more air and less volume that's why they call it high volume or you know or high pressure low volume or high volume low pressure because you can go either way with this gun you can build more pressure or less pressure depending on what kind of paint you're pushing so you have to when you have an oil base this is definitely a heavy paint when you have something like a base coat or a clear coat they're very light they're very light paints and they go on real fast but they do require up to four coats depending on what you're painting it can be a pain in the ass uh, especially if it's a hood or something you might have to hit that hood three or four or five times to get that right shine and especially because it gets the direct sun so basically these knobs are what you have to play with 
and I adjust them for each and every thing. I, I have uh, just like these chairs. That's what we're going to work on uh, after I get a shower a little bit. I got to get the sweat out of my eyes and the grass off of me. Like I said, uh, my my lawnmower and my weed whacker and I are best friends this year. Uh, they confirmed it. They even have my picture on Facebook. Uh, bastards. But anyway. I'm going to work on these chairs then. I started working on them and then I got pulled off of it. It rains, customers come. Uh, this hasn't been a year to get anything done. Just like Herman Munster, we're cleaning the shop tomorrow. We just got all this stuff out and we're going to get to Herman Munster, the uh, cuck bee. But teaching people like you to paint, keep your tools like this, I'll scrub with a scrunch. This one has a little bit of crust, this other gun. Learning to keep your tools clean because if this goes down in the nozzle or in the port here it clogs things especially in there in that port right there it'll go down through the gun and it basically screws your gun up that's why you see a lot of guys they'll break their gun down they'll actually clean that gun out of there they'll, they'll spend hours with it they soak it in MEK it's not good for the old-fashioned Binks uh, the Sears Craftsman's and stuff like that that had those rubber uh, neoprene seals you might as well throw it out if you're gonna do that a lot of this stuff does not work on that old technology. It doesn't have rubber seals that the, the reducers and the paints eat them. So that's the good thing about China. They've made the hobby that you can paint your lawn chairs. I'm sweating standing still. How about that? I mean, I'm dripping wet. Can't wait to get in the shower. The, the, the humidity, I, th I think I could take the air here and just wring it out. So that's not a good day to paint either. When the humidity uh, builds, especially in oil base, it'll take forever to dry. Two, three days. I, I, I've had it happen, especially here in the Northeast. It's not so bad down south. Here in the Northeast, spraying a single stage with just a hardener and reducer, you're taking your chances, especially if you have weather that changes like ours does hourly. Uh, NWS is forecast for a clear day, and all of a sudden you've got rain coming out of a clear blue sky like we've had here when Vinny was here. Uh, I've had some amazing shit happen, and uh, I've had to redo a couple of things. That's how the door actually got botched last year. That's why the, the truck never got, uh, the other one never got clear coated. I botched the door, it ran. It, it rained out of a clear blue sky. It just opened up, and I said, fuck it. And then, I, you know, I had, I had other people's money. When you take somebody's money, you gotta produce the work. So there gets to be problems and conflict in your personal life when you uh, take on a side project. Like I said, we're disabled veterans. We deserve to eat too. But you try not to be a pig and a slob and slob up your neighborhood and, and you know, that thing's been sitting there, it looks like hell. And hopefully now that we're going to get to it, it'll start improving. So, you guys watch my videos and stuff. And I, I want, like I said, Henry, uh, there's that Michael, there was a couple guys that you actually called me. And, yeah, today I got the opportune day. I still have my own work to get done, but I have customer stuff here. Uh, Bill Slusher, your bike is done. I'm waiting for you to pick up your bike. Um... There's so many people, like I said, they started depending on me and truthful advice and not getting ripped off, especially about the, they're learning about the better motorized bicycle parts because Dr. Evil was out today, he's five or six years old and same motor, uh, I think his electrical's getting a little weak so we're going to upgrade that. Uh, I think I did put one of those, uh, I, I, what are they, uh, the, the Australian guy makes those uh, super magnetos or whatever, I, I, I like those, it was, it was a real good product. Uh, that's why I feature people like Kitty's Auto Parts. I wanted to thank them. Uh, Seth Weaver down here at the, at the garage. Collis Auto Part uh, Truck Parts, CT Trucks. Uh, they're on Dannersville Road, in Northampton, PA. Uh, best four-wheel drive and truck yard there is. Uh, guy that works there, cousin of mine, David. Uh, you can throw a quarter out in that junkyard, and he'll go find it. Especially if he's blindfolded, he'll still find it. He's an amazing guy that you get in a truck with him and he knows right where what you need is and he knows right what you're talking about. There are not too many human beings on this earth like David. And even Jake's that way, but Jake doesn't get away from the counter that much with his health and I can't blame him. You guys, learn to rely on me, learn to rely on my advice. And especially when I thank people like Collis Truck Parts, uh, Kitty's Auto Parts, uh, my auto store, the salvage yard that's out here behind the driver's license center in Hazleton, Mark. Uh, and I think her name is Gwen or whatever. You guys are tops. A lot of people pitched in and helped me with this stuff. And I'm talking a lot of people, especially Scotty Haight, Palmerton Auto Parts. I mention people in stores where you can go to where you can still get that old-fashioned knowledge and not get that retail brush off, like because they don't know anything. I deal with parts places and professionals that know things. So I'm hoping that you listen to my advice about that. And like I said, if you need any spray gun tips, uh, you guys know where to find me on the on the YouTube. Uh, a couple of you guys did. 
uh, in private feature when you guys are doing that sometimes it works for me sometimes it don't just so you know uh, I know some people they, they won't, don't want fun made out of them for a stupid question there's no such thing as a stupid question all there is is stupid mistakes asking me a stupid question it might be old hat to me yeah it might make me chuckle it's because I've been there where you were at I had many a stupid questions as a guy growing up on a navy ship you're like a babe in, in toy land you want to play with every toy on that vessel but I'll tell you what you do one wrong thing you're, you're, you're gonna be hung by your neck so I'm gonna go finish sweating to death in the shower and hopefully they'll cool off and I can get to these chairs later in my other chores thanks for watching my videos guys